Um, can someone explain to me how Baker Mayfield was humbled? I mean, I, I don't. I mean, how did he get humbled? I mean, we're talking about Baker Mayfield who threw three interceptions in the first half was like five for thirteen for like what forty some yards. How was he humbled against a team that won eight straight games? I mean, a Super Bowl contending team, right? Uh, and and then correct me if I'm wrong. He run a second half and throw for 357 yards on like fucking 30 for 36 or something like that and one touchdown, no interceptions. So, I mean, how was he humbled? I mean, we're talking about the same guy that was an 0 16 team last year that's responsible for four wins this year in that same fucking team. I mean, how was he humbled? I don't get it. How was Baker Mayfield humbled? If he was humbled, it didn't last long because he threw for 357 yards in the second fucking half on the same fucking team. It just, you know what it sounds like to me? It sounds like the coaching, the game plan was a little better in the second half. You know what I'm saying? A little bit better in the second half. <laughs> I, I just, everyone's grasping at straws here, humbled. This guy was not humbled. You know what he was? He was angered. That's what he was. And he felt very dangerous in the second half. I just want to know how he was humbled. <laughs> I mean, just, these people are like grasping at straws. Oh, he was humbled. He was humbled. Hey, he threw three interceptions, two pick, pick six and two pickoffs. Three pickoffs. He was humbled. And then he went out and threw for 357 yards in the second half alone. And he had a touchdown called back because of the holding penalty. And he had another one that guy fumbled on his way in the end zone. <laughs> yeah, I'd say he was humbled. I'd say he was angry. That's what I'd say. He was fueled. Bigger GX Mayfield. If he was humbled, he was humbled for 30 minutes. And then he went out there and tore the goddamn defense up. That same defense is in the process of a nine-game winning streak. That's what he did. So... God, you, you're, you, you haters out there, or I should say you bigger Mayfield puppets out there that are fucking haters, you're grasping at straws now. You're grasping at straws now. Bigger Jinx Mayfield was fueled and angered by his first half performance. He was fueled and angered by his first half performance. And then look what he did. So, yeah, it, it's, if you put Deshaun Watson on the Cleveland Browns right now and Baker Mayfield on the Houston Texans right now, they're not 9-3. They're 12-0 because they don't lose three straight games at the beginning of the season. Deshaun Watson's good, but let's be honest about it. He had a much easier defense to go up against than his own defense because the Houston Texans defense is substantially better than the Cleveland Browns defense. In fact, if Baker Mayfield was on the Houston Texans yesterday, it wouldn't have been 29-13, to whatever the fuck the score was. It would have been 62 to nothing. They would have destroyed Cleveland. So, yeah, let's just think before we start talking about grasping at straws and humbled. Baker Mayfield's on a team that's not that good right now. As a Well, they're not bad, but they're not on the team as good as Houston. If Deshaun Watson was on Cleveland right now, they wouldn't have 4-7 and seven than 1. They'd be probably about 2 and fucking 9, 2 and 10. Let's think before we start calling out the God, the Messiah, Baker James Mayfield. Think before you speak, you dumbasses. Humbled? Nah. More like angered. God, great.